Joe's in the hospital. Joe? No, Joe. Joe, Joe. Joe and Green. Uh, no, Jim. What is it, Chief? Joe Green is in the hospital. Yeah, I was just telling Al that. Yeah, too bad. Too bad it wasn't fatal. It could have been with the right kind of workman. Get out.
I just mentioning the job when you raised that last bit? How do you know that I'm mentioning any names or private names? And why? Because it wouldn't take us many money except people who trust me. He knew what it meant to keep the housewife. Of course, it doesn't sound like much. She's been just a few ounces of meat on the ground or a few potatoes out of the sack. But understand this. 40% of the American income is spent on food. And the people are cheated out of only 5%. In one year, that adds up to what the war did. Now, it's a big job. Big rock for you. People on the other side of the fence have a great deal at stake. And they want to make it very tough for you. So if any of you who are uh, you're afraid to type in, now the time to walk. Thanks. That makes it unanimous. Is a neat little gadget and one of the latest. Do we have a two pound weight? Put it on the scale. It still weighs two pounds. Watch the hand. The very top of the housewife. You'd we'll be surprised. The name of some of the stores is still probably goes to advantage. Very delicate point. Actually, every time you make a pitch, you're going to be offered a bribe. Now, some deputies have taken bribes. That's your answer. Thank you. 
Get hit by a street trauma into the mountain of civil war in Spain and Great Britain, Japan, and now you wear that hat. Thank you. 
weights and measures. We should get started. He's giving that Bennett twice, sir. I am. And that portion to him. I'm ready to talk to Chief Deputy. Say, would you care for some nice spinach with Chief Deputy? He's not like a bad hot dog. No beans in the hospital. No. Well, I'll be like that. Well, that's too bad. I'm too serious. Serious enough to keep me up for several weeks. Oh, I'll have to clean this up. Well, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? Well, that's my girl. Thank you. Yeah. Two. No, Jim, I'm a problem. Thank you. 
we have to be a lot of things in common. How much commitment you have now? Let's play it for you, Johnny. What can I do for you? Not a thing, kid. Not a thing. It's not. Right. I came over here to do something for you. I'm not coming into my club. Our organization can use young fellows like you. No thanks. I don't think the boss likes us too long to do you for us. Well, you've got your own future to look out for. What? Well, I'd have to be a district leader like me. I couldn't guess the problem. We can fix it so you can afford to dress this way. Very nice. Dave, a friend of mine spoke to me about you. He thinks very highly of your ability. That's fine. He asked me very particularly to do something for him. How about that to be leader at 200 a month? And that's just a start, you understand? Now listen, you can, just a minute. I'll send you a line. Well, I happen to have a summons here that you gave me at the Paradise Market. And you want me to forget? That's the idea, kid. You do want something that would cut you a nice little slice of cake. Well, thanks. I don't want some. Why do you have hands up, though? Going around with a chip on your shoulder. This, this stuff is all unimportant. The grocer or butcher charges a woman three or four cents more than she's supposed to pay. So what? She never rents it in. No. I'll show you what I mean. You got me back? Good morning. Sit here and think. Try to think of it. Are you trying to commit suicide? You're going to stretch your head. That's for some hard parts breaking them all. Well, I believe it. Come on, we roll. I don't like that pity on you. Let's put this little mop on. For a rock. Put it on. I told you guys to do all this. The little boy, the kid, the voice black boy this spring. Thank you. 
shows this organization. I also know that the boys want me out of the way. That's a bold statement, Mr. Camp. I'm sure you don't mean it. I mean it. You can tell Mr. Bonnie Camp, no one's come to you to call me, that I said so. Are you suggesting that Mr. Cavanaugh be case the policy of this office? What do you think? Seems to be a bit of a difference, Mr. Ogilvy, between the items you see before and those delivered. At least fifty uh, percent. Of course, it always is. What did you say, this? At least for a good job. So I have to get a chance to make it over in a cage. That goes for you too. Sign with the X. Right, I'm going to get a whole full of handicaps for a woman. I want you both to come. Well, it's going to be a swell blow-up. 
guys work for them. They don't want to give that away. You think he'd think so, Mr. Kennedy? I made a bad deal. Why would it be enough for that purpose? They would have been a lot more to me. Oh, I should say about two. Five grand? Five grand! You weren't taking any chances. Not with me behind you. But you're taking chances now. Yeah. I'll get a lot of this. I'm not going to have one of them sudden accidents. Because I'm not going to tell the city prosecutor where the papers are. someplace else. Why did he get that? I get orders to be night court. Well, what happens so quickly? I'm not completely dizzy. Still dizzy. Well, you do whatever you think best. As far as I'm concerned, you're the police department. Well, you keep getting some of those pictures, but I'll be out for a while.
Christmas. Yourself. It's all on tape. How did you get the ring? Order, of course. But how? On the installment plan. But what about... I know, I know, I know. It's a racket. Johnny. Thank you. 